As I gather more evidence and build a profile on this beautiful old canoe, I can see that the canvas still attached has been repainted at least once. Also, I see one of the owners has used duct tape to cover a possible leaky section on the bow. These two things suggest quick repairs by previous owners, possibly because of lack of resources or lack of time. But it doesn't really give me much in terms of the make, model, or the year this was built, which is what I'm really after. However, when I removed the canvas layer, what was underneath began to reveal much more than I expected. Hi, my name is Cam, and on today's episode of Canoe Chat, we'll be looking at building a profile to determine your canoe origins. So when I bought this canoe, half of the canvas had already been removed. Uh, the canvas that remained told me a little bit about the canoe and I can add it a bit to my profile. Uh, I can see that it's been repainted, um, uh, quickly repainted. So it does reveal maybe um, possibly another color that was underneath. So I might scrape this down to see if I can find what the original color was of the canoe. Might have been red, I don't know, but that will help. Uh, also, as just a little side note, um, I see that previous owners had taped along the, the bow here, covering up little holes. Obviously a quick fix, um, probably lack of resources or time, didn't allow the previous owners to re-canvas it on their own. When I did take the canvas off though, what was very interesting was um, some of the stain marks that were left on the back side of the canvas. So these would be uh, possibly from the varnish uh, from the inside, but what I'll do is I'll send a sample to my uh, forensics guy and see if he can get uh, uh, what type of stain that is. Is it a varnish? And if so, can I get a date on that varnish or what type of varnish what it was? I'll leave it to forensics for that. Another interesting point was the tacks that are used to tack in the canvas along the gunnel. Um, there's only one set, which means that this was the original canvas on the canoe. So if I can get my team to research how long it takes for canvas to wear down or how long or, or sort of what a, a time frame for a canvas on a canoe is, I can maybe give a, uh, find a, a, a time frame as to when it was built. The third thing that I thought was interesting was the uh, nails used to attach the planks to the ribs. And it has a pattern of three nails, two nails, three nails, two nails, three nails, and that goes throughout the canoe. So why didn't they just do three nails all the way across? Why were they alternating three, two, three, two? Um, I don't know. And I'm gonna take a look to see if there's actually a standard way of putting in nails. Again, if I do find out that there is, it can add to the profile of the canoe and, and allow me to find out more information. If I can start, um, as it were, nailing things down, I can maybe find out the, uh, the type of manufacturer or, or the time frame. So because of the COVID, um, my forensics guy can't get me my information on the varnish stains on the inside of the canvas. So I can't get a date on that. However, my team and I, um, and there's my team right there. My team and I discovered that um, through several sources, um, canoe canvas can last between 30 and 40 years if it's properly maintained. If that's the case, that means that this canoe was probably built somewhere between the late 1970s, early 1980s. So I'll continue to look to see what companies were manufacturing canoes at that time um, and see if I can come up with anything. In terms of the nails on the planks, um, there I've watched a few videos by Nick Offerman to see if he had any insight as he put together his canoe. Um, but there wasn't really any indication that there's a standard way of putting nails in a canoe. It could be that the company or the manufacturer was just being very frugal and only allowed a certain amount of nails per plank. I have no idea. Um, but it seems to be a kind of a dead end there to, uh, to determine whether uh, nails make any difference in, uh, in the profile of the canoe. Next on Canoe Chat, we're going to be looking at our dicks. Why are they shaped the way they are and what do they reveal? Remember, if you've got a boat, we can make it float. Look us up at floatcanoe.com. Have a great day, everybody.